Hi, it's Miss Chris from the Free Library of Springfield Township. We're here today to do another science experiment with you. We're going to talk about gummy bear osmosis. And osmosis is when a solvent, excuse me, a something, a liquid. Today we're going to use water and some other things will travel from outside a membrane into the inside of a membrane. Today what we're talking about is gummy bears probably have these in your candy cabinet. And so we're gonna see how the liquids that we have will go from outside the gummy bear to inside the gummy bear. Gummy bears are made of gelatin and water. And when they're made and they cool and they dry, all the water gets sucked out of them and you get this hard candy. But when you put gummy bears in water in particular, they don't really dissolve like a lot of other candies that you have. You know when you put a piece of candy in your mouth, oftentimes if you leave it there long enough, it'll eventually go away. Well, gummy bears don't do that because they're made of the gelatin. And so what we're gonna talk about today is the osmosis and solubility. And solubility is when a liquid or a gas will dissolve a liquid or a solid into another type of solution. And so we've taken today different types of solutions and water being one of them, and we're going to see how they affect these gummy bears. We're gonna deal with water, we're gonna deal with salt water, sugar water, juice, I happen to have used apple juice, soda, I used Diet Coke, we used white vinegar, it happens to have been uh, colored pink with a little bit of red food coloring, but it is happened to be white vinegar, baking soda water, and this happens to be non-fat milk. You can use other things to see how this experiment works, but one thing that you want kind of is your control is plain water, okay? How we've done this is you're gonna take a tablespoon of your different powders, the salt, the sugar, the baking soda, and a half a cup of your liquids. So whatever kind of liquids that you want, I've, for the sake of timing, filled a bunch of these already, because if you're using different liquids, you wanna make sure that you rinse your measuring cup in between so you don't cross contaminate your liquids. So there's water for my salt and we'll give it just a second. Anything like your salt, your sugar, or your baking soda, you have to make sure that you stir them very well to dissolve those materials. for the sugar. And the last one for the baking soda. Now the way gummy bears are made, they actually have teeny tiny holes in their surface, which is going to allow the water to transfer in, or this, whatever liquid that you've got, to transfer into the material of the gummy. So that's how this ex experiment is gonna work for the osmosis. So you wanna get these stirred up nice and well. You're gonna, the sugar and the salt will take a little bit of stirring. You'll know when you've got the salt and the sugar stirred until it dissolves because you won't see it or feel it on the bottom. It takes a little bit to stir them. Oops, got a little crazy there with my stirring. Okay, once you've got those dissolved, you're going to want to take, you can use tweezers, forceps, or for this part, you can just use your fingers and you're going to plop in a gummy bear into each container. Now you can certainly use other kinds of materials, liquids that you have at home. You may have um, tomato juice. You may have grape juice. You may have, I don't know, mom may have prune juice in the house. Something else that you want to try to see how this experiment works. That's great. Try whatever you have in the house to see how this functions. So what I did is yesterday, about the same time yesterday, I set this experiment up ahead of time because you want to try and see how this works over time because this isn't going to happen immediately. You can check it like 12 hours from now. You can check it 24 hours from now. So this is what we have 24 hours from when I started this. So we wanna see how the osmosis worked 
in these gummy bears, how they absorbed or did not absorb the liquid that they have. So here's a gummy bear as it is from out of the bag, how it potentially came out of your cupboard. And here is, whoa. Doesn't want to come out of the water. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to get a spoon because it fell apart. It absorbed so much water, it came apart. Now this is the one for the salt. This one started out as a green gummy bear. This is the one in the apple juice. Oops, oh, it lost, lost its head. Ooh, ooh, very jiggly. Maybe that was a foot, I don't know. Here it is in the sugar water. I'll get some of the water out, so we can just get the bear. Now look at the vinegar. I don't have anything in the vinegar to pick up. There's nothing in there. Let's see if we have anything in the soda. Soda's too dark for me to see on the bottom. I don't have anything in the, oh, 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 oh. That's what I have left to pick up from the soda. Here's the sugar water. Let's see what's in the milk. Oh, there's the milk. And, oh, there's the milk. So if you look at what happened between the regular gummy and the size of these, move these off to the side so you can see them for what they are by their labels. Do that so you can see them better. This is the size of a regular gummy. So compared to the milk, it's maybe hmm, half the size, not quite. Look at it compared to the baking soda. Now the baking soda, it's in a water salt solution. So that's added all the water to the soda. Look at that. The acid in the soda pretty much dissolved it and we had nothing come out of the vinegar. And part of the reason why it doesn't come out of the vinegar is because there is acidic acid and that basically ate away at the gummy bear. But look at the juice. Now the juice, because there is water in your juice, but in apple juice, there's also an awful lot of acid. So it started to eat away at the gummy, at the gelatin. And the sugar water, again, because of all the, the water base. But look at the salt. Now the salt basically didn't expand. And one of the reasons why the salt doesn't work is because the water tries to, there are more salt molecules in the water than there are gelatin. And so the water attracts itself to the salt to try and equal that out. So the water's trying to attract to the salt to even out that number. And so that's why it doesn't grow. But if you look at just plain water, Basically, the gummy expanded to the point at which it started to fall apart. So it was an interesting experiment, depending upon what we put it in, the osmosis worked differently. And that also is about the solubility. What did these different solvents, these different materials do to these different solids? And what was the solution, the gummy, what did it become? So I look forward to potentially hearing how your experiments worked out. Have fun with them, try different things, and thanks for coming to do science with us at the Free Library of Springfield Township. Thanks.